That first game it was a pretty good experience for me because, you know, I got out there and he started talking to me and, and he intimidated me. Threatened to break my leg, this, that, you know. He was probably the, the one guy that I've ever played against in professional football where when you came off the line of scrimmage, you had to know where he was at. Fisher was fearless and tenacious. Pat Fisher stood 5 feet 9 inches and weighed 165 pounds and was as good an acorn as you could find at a time when NFL teams were looking for oaks. The Cardinals drafted him out of Nebraska in 1961. And after a brief tryout, his receiver, number 37, became their left cornerback, a position he owned for seven years. He was a small but angry tornado that whirled out and whacked anyone who approached the funnel. Pat Fisher shows that size and speed is not necessarily the number one requisite for a football player. Never missed a practice, never missed a game, played 110%. He was as tough as nails, loved the game, tremendous competitor. Fisher reduced the art of tackling to a simple matter of angles and leverage. Stay low, keep my head up, when I make contact, lift and take at least one of his legs away from me. If I can get him off the ground with one leg, I'm going to win the war. Because now he doesn't have any power. What he has to have is both legs driving in order for him to run over me. He had perfect form. He had great form. Yeah, I think, he, I think his height helped him because he was able to get down there and get down below, below you instead of hitting your chest to hit down where you could hit and lift. Pat Fisher, smallest regular in the NFL at 5 feet 9 inches, is the key to the Cardinals' strong secondary. Pat's among the league leaders in interception. The Paul Staff ground camera follows the action as Ballman proves tough to bring down. Pat Fisher finally nails the intruder. The situation becomes critical when Pittsburgh mounts an offensive in the final minute. Bill Nelson overshoots, and Pat Fisher intercepts to save the day for the Cardinals. Determination is one of Fisher's most profound attributes as this play clearly illustrates. Pat Fisher also realizes the value of pressure. It all adds up to interceptions. Pat Fisher typifies Cardinal defensive backs. Comparatively pony size, they make up in desire and a singular competitive nature what they may lack in stature. Pat Fisher wages a successful duel against Gary Collins. Prentice Scott explodes all over the field before he's finally nailed at the Redskin 9. Fumble. Pat Fisher recovers. Sonny Jurgensen fills the air with passes. With just seven seconds remaining, Pat Fisher intercepts to ruin the Redskin bid. Number 20, Mung Bailey, leads the interference. Using camera tricks, we're able to spot Fisher at a point where he appears to be fenced in. But the great little cornerback's skillful maneuvering results in a touchdown that ices the last-minute St. Louis League. Ready to the Redskins in 1975, no player ran over number 37. But even in Washington, his skirmishes with backs and receivers were part of a 17-year running battle for respect. That couldn't have been 5'9", 170 at, at tops. That's what if they wrapped him up in a lot of tape. And I was 6'5", and a little bit more, and Coach Lombardi used to always say, well, this is like taking candy from a baby. Hart's pass for Williams was picked off by pesky Pat Fisher. Fisher is a cornerback, but he might as well have been playing free safety today. He was all over the field. A repeat of this key play shows Williams ran a long post. Number 41, second-year cornerback Mike Bass stayed right with him, and the omnipresent Fisher came from nowhere to take the ball. He returned it 27 yards. Now in the second quarter, Washington's defense again came up with a ball when Morton threw directly into the arms of cornerback Pat Fisher. Whistle the gun, he beat on, agitated, outwitted, and intimidated receivers. He was the pepper in the red skin stew. 
Veteran Huff and Hamburger, along with Pat Fisher, are the hub of the rebuilt Redskin defense. On a third down play, little Pat Fisher made a fingernail save of a Rensel intended pass to avert a touchdown. While number 37, feisty Pat Fisher and Mike Bass are skillful cornerbacks. On an isolated replay of the theft, Jackie Smith seemed to be open on a sideline pattern, but Fisher came out of nowhere to grab the ball. Diminutive giant Pat Fisher came up with a big interception on his own nine-yard line to kill the drive with two minutes to play. Is, is the key to the, why you want to intimidate. Make them think about you. Make them know and realize that if they do catch the ball, you're going to have, they're going to have to pay the penalty. And court. over a period of time, uh, the war will be won by the guy that's more aggressive. Fisher's most famous duels were fought with the Eagles' Harold Carmichael, number 17. An oak who outsized the acorn by 50 pounds at 11 inches. Go through the receiver to the ball. And in that case, with Harold McCormick, it was always proved to be a valuable instrument. Go through him to the ball. Go through him to the ball. After sprinting 67 yards with this interception, 33-year-old Pat Fisher was probably more tired out than disappointed in his failure to score. Number 37, Pat Fisher iced the game with this interception and 53-yard touchdown run. And the game ball, the token of victory, was shared by Fisher, Myron Patios, and Jimmy Jones, all members of the defense. Cornerback Pat Fisher, number 37, has won several game balls. And like so many of his teammates, he has succeeded in the face of adversity. At 5'9 and 170 pounds, Fisher is too small for his position. Yet he packs such intensity into every play and focuses his talent with such skill that he neutralizes men much larger and faster than himself. Pat Fisher is a man of stamina and strong will, but so are all his teammates, remarkable men who made the Redskins a remarkable team. He was the pepper in the Redskin stew. Distraction is, is the key to the, why you want to intimidate. Make them think about you. Make them know and realize that if they do catch the ball, you're going to have, they're going to have to pay you the penalty for it. And over a period of time, uh, the war will be won by the guy that's more aggressive. Matt Fisher was not that fast, not that big, but he had, the, he had a heart, loved the game, smart football player should be an all-pro, should be in the Hall of Fame someday.
Pat Fisher packed such intensity into every play, focused his talent with such skill, aged with such grace, that he played more games at cornerback than any player in NFL history. Number 37, Pat Fisher, blasted Gene Washington. 